episode of Mad as a Goat. Today I want to talk about how, you know, just there's something that my elders talk to me about a lot, you know, when I'm at work I often hear the thing, the phrase, oh this generation's a little bit soft, you know, they overreact over everything. And you know, I'd have to agree. Now look, I don't have a problem with ranters and the things they yell about, I'm all about freedom of speech, I'm all about people saying something about the things they don't like, in fact I'm doing it right now. But a lot of the other facets that people overreact on are just fucking just silly. Like, have you seen this on your Facebooks? Maybe you got someone on there and they've put up a status like, you know, if you're not a real friend, fuck you and I don't like you anymore, I don't trust anyone and da 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 da. Just a full fucking crybaby whinge. I call that a crybaby whinge because fucking shut up. Okay, no one gives a shit about your shitty little life, okay? You don't have people around you. whoop de doo Oh, I'm so lonely. I spend most of my time on my own. If I really had a problem with it, I'd do something about it. I wouldn't fucking sit on Facebook and whinge. Oh, everyone's a prick but me. Oh, well, the common consensus seems to be that you're the prick and that they're not the problem, you know? Just fucking get the hell over it with your butt hurt. Oh, my friends don't hang around with me anymore. I, I have that problem, and I state it, but I'm not going to sit here and go, well, fuck them, them fucking pricks. I don't have a problem with them. They made a decision, and okay, you know, they are my friends. I stand by it. And that's what you do. That's a real fucking friend, by the way. No matter what the decision is, even if it is to cut you out, you still respect them because it's your friend and it's their decision to do so. Stop getting so fucking crybaby butthurt. You look like little babies, especially on fucking Facebook. You know, and these women posting these things like... My man left me, <laughs> and he went with my sister. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Whinge, 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 fucking cry, cry, cry. Cry. Okay, unless you were married to him for 40 years, and you invested in a home loan on a house, and you had three children, and you have like $40 million in assets, or whatever the case may be. When there's some real fucking shit that can go wrong from someone leaving you, you have nothing to fucking complain about. If you go into business with someone and they fuck off, have a whinge. If you're just two people who get together and fuck and they fuck you off, get the fuck over it. Honestly, Jesus, I know why the elders think we're a bunch of soft cock pussies. And even the fights that you see, back in the day, it had to be something, you know, monumental even. He grabbed my latest boob, or he would looked at her, he was trying to fuck her, so I broke his face. Common one that happens now too, granted. But then you see these dumb fights. Oh, if we didn't even tag me in the photo on Facebook, fuck him, my boo, and they start fighting. Or you know, what are you looking at? That one pisses me off. I don't care if it was back then. You know, I don't give a shit. That's fuck off. Okay, your life sucks, and you're gonna start. Oh, fuck you on everyone. Your life sucks. Fucking do something about it. Don't come over here and bring your fucking shitty, crappy life near me. Fuck off. Fucking butt hurt little bitch. These motherfuckers who get all buff and go around beating up on everyone are a bunch of soft cock bitches who can't deal with reality. Life sucks and then you fucking die, okay? Shit things are gonna happen, okay? It's called life. It's your whole existence. So some shit has to fall in there somewhere. Get the fuck over it. You know, people with real problems, you know, they get ignored even. For real. I had a dude on my Facebook recently, he's talking about fucking offing himself. Some real shit, you know? A little bit of attention. You know, we're gonna help this guy. A few people jumped in. I didn't because I don't know him well enough. I can't really actually help him with his problems without knowing what they really are and being around him. Da, 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 da. It's a responsible decision on my part to not get involved in something that is beyond my capability. But, you know, that gets fuck all. 
you know, there's people there who know him and can, oh, yeah, oh, okay, yeah, that's awkward, don't want to deal with it. But when people break up, you have a hundred people chiming in, like, oh, he was a bus, she was a whore, man, bro, just suck her off. And all these people getting so, I hear it all the time, people of my generation, I can't hang around with most of you. All you talk about is relationships. Do you have any fucking thing else to say? Look, I like getting the pussy as much as any other fucking guy, but fuck it. If it involves talking for nine hours about other people's goddamn problems, I'd rather fucking go to a brothel. Are you fucking high? I can't believe these people. They can sit there for hours and hours talking about other people's shit. Well, you got nothing going on in your life. Nothing about you is interesting enough to talk about. So you got to talk about, oh, well, Timmy was sucking his dick and blah, blah, blah. Fucking shut up. In relationships, this is, oh, I'm going to fucking put the whole blueprint down for you. Do you like them? Do you love them? Do you want to spend a lot of time with them? Boom, there, you're in a relationship. Has that faded? It's done. The end. That's the whole fucking conversation. It's such a small, unimportant facet of life. Here's a little bit of a reality check for you people getting all butthurt about your boyfriend or girlfriend. Humans, when we were first here, procreated a lot like animals. You're just fucked. You know, people think fucking has some sort of spiritual connection. No. Nah, biological function. That's about it. Okay? Someone doesn't like you anymore, get over it. Don't go fucking kill yourself or get all butthurt. Oh, people don't like me and I'm awkward. Whatever. I'm an awkward fucking dipshit. I'm the most annoying person on the planet. Hence why there's no one here in any of my videos. Oh, what a fucking shocker. Look at me, I'm not sitting here crying. Oh, you know, every video. People don't like me. So fuck them. I do have that attitude, but that's just because I am a sociopath. But anyway, you know, I just, you know, fuck off people. I've got to the point where most people are butthurt little bitches. I just go away. I honestly, if I'm going to have a conversation with someone, I usually go for someone older than me in pretty much 99.9% .9 of the time. Because most young people are just whiny little crybaby bitches. I've met, like, I think in my whole life, three that I, of my generation, of my age group, my peers, that I can actually talk to. One is the genius, another is a lady at work, and the other one is someone I knew way, way long back when I was a teenager. And it was just an offshoot person that I didn't see often, but I liked them. You know, and I could talk to them, and they had things to say, and they had ideas, and they had opinions that were formulated, not just, the new Batman's gonna suck. <laughs> Fucking, you know nothing about acting. Shut the hell up. Christ. And everyone's a critic. I'm a critic, but I'll point out that these aren't, you know, for the purposes of being right. These are for the purposes of getting people to have opinions and think. You know, the whole thing of no script, why is that pointed out? Because I'm not spending hours on this. This is what I'm thinking. Just straight out. I'm not going to, no matter what it is, I'll talk about everything. I'm not going to sit here and get butthurt about it. Fucking butthurt about every little thing. Oh, I've had girlfriends break up with me. I, I walked into a room with a current girlfriend sucking another guy's cock. You know what I did? I walked out and that was it. Deleted. Other dudes, I fucking smashed him and I did this and I stalked her on Facebook and fuck, fuck, fuck. You fucking cunt. Shut up. Slap yourself because you're a fool. I mean, shit. Get the fuck over it. Shit happens. Move on. Christ. Goddamn soft cock pussies. They don't get, you know, worried about what who they're going to vote for and, you know, what's going on with the country or, you know, what's actually happening in the world. They're more worried about because little Jenny doesn't like having her fingers, you know, up his asshole every night anymore. Get the fuck over yourself. You're not that fucking important. You're a little blip. Fucking chill the shit out. Have some opinions about some actual shit we can relate to. Not just your, oh, everyone hates me, I want to die. The more you concentrate on it, the closer you get to killing yourself. You know, don't fucking concentrate on negatives. You know, why is my Facebook mostly just the most ridiculous videos you've seen and the stupidest comments ever? Because that's fun. People can enjoy that shit. I'm not going to get all my butt hurt and put it out there. And if I do, I try to make it funny. I'm not getting all butthurt and crying for weeks and months and years. Get the fuck over it. I even get annoyed at people in my family who every now and again, R.I.P. Mum. I know that's my mother. I know she's dead. It happened. Okay? 
do a little memorial in your house or watch that video of her or something. You know, don't post it on the world and get all, oh, it's the worst. It's not the fucking worst. It sucks. You granted, I'm not happy about it either. But shit, move the fuck on. You know, remember it. Remember the good. Don't concentrate on dead. She's fucking dead. That's what they do. They just concentrate on that tiny little fucking bit. Instead of all the other shit that happened with that lady. And they just too busy being butthurt on this little fucking blip. Instead of looking at the fucking timeline. And I, I don't know. I'm saying fuck to my family members. But for fuck's sake. Stop getting so butthurt. Grow up. Fuck. People are so fucking immature. And they get pissed at me for acting like a dickhead. It's better to act like a dickhead and entertain instead of just uploading and unloading your shit on everyone. If you meet me, I'm going to start cracking jokes. That's what I do. I don't take anything too serious. Unless it's someone who's about to die or my job, I'm not really too fucking serious about shit. I don't get too butthurt, okay? Oh, your friends don't hang around with you. That must be depressing. No. I deal with it. That's it. Uh, you're probably expecting a mental breakdown. You're expecting suicide rants. You're expecting all this shit. And it ain't gonna happen because I'm not a little bitch, okay? And that's the most appropriate time it's been used ever. Forget all your rap songs, you little bitches. Get over shit. Life's hard. Persevere. If you don't, you know what happens? You're, you're fucking fucked. Once you just let that door go boom and let all the shit just drown you in it, that's what happens. You fucking drown. You sink. You're like the Titanic, like a brick to the bottom of the ocean. You're done. Move the fuck on. Mad as a goat.